Hello, Icon fans, and welcome to this match between Rockmox and Nail on Kratoria. Rockmox is currently in the top right corner of the map, and Nail is in the bottom left corner of the map. And it looks like Crown Aberrant was observing the game when it happened, as well as Jay Raccoon. So this must have been a pretty popular game when it happened. But now we'll see what the players were up to. So it looks like Nail is going for Grekum, Rockmox went for Vekir. Rockmox going up for, looks like probably an economic start, getting 3 RPs at first on LC. Likely to get a 4th RP because Kratoria is a fairly large map. You generally do that. You, you don't... There's no real point to going for massive rushes. Granted, you can use the teleporters here on the lower right and top left corners, the southeast and northwest corners. Use those to teleport into the main bases, and then from there, affect some amount of a rush. It's not the best kind of rush, but it can work. However, it looks like Nail is... Not going to have to worry about that too much. Rockmox also doesn't have to worry about a rush from the looks of it. Nail building up a couple Octos for RPs, but not nothing for any major assault from the looks of it. Though he hasn't actually told them to become RPs. He, had, he didn't use the RP construction command. So he might be sending them off as a small assault force at first. In fact, he is lifting up his Sepian Faro. He might, in fact, be planning on going for a rush. Rockmox is about a minute up from there, and is none the wiser. Right now he has his infantry all just walking over to Nail's base, but... and his, well, Zion Veer is catching up to them, but yeah, his infantry walking over to Nail's base, and other than that, he's not really doing too much. It looks like he has his... one of his Zion Veer looks to be going towards the Chronoporter here. I'm not sure if he's planning on trying to use it. You can't actually use a Chronoporter unless you have your species' gate tech researched, or Chronoporter in the case of Grekin, but then they don't need Chronoporters. So, Vekir and Ciso cannot just use a random chronoporter on the map. And the Articus has met up with the infantry with the Zion Veer. Nothing really to say about that, though. The important part is whether or not Nail is actually going for a big rush strategy. And it looks like he's moving... He's walking his duo a bit, but his Octos, when they're built, that's when it's going to be a moment of truth. And... Up here, it doesn't look like not, Nail is planning on doing too much more with that. The Octos are building up, but they haven't now what's he going to do? He is going to be moving them out. He is actually going to be going to the teleporter, so it looks like he will be planning on doing a small rush with the Octos, but he might echo it out. This seems the sort of thing that would be echoed out in order to have a better economic start after scouting out Rockmox's base. Now Rockmox, on the other hand, is not actually building anything up at this point. His Zion Veer moved out, so he hasn't actually built anything with... He hasn't built any infantry with the resources he's gotten in the meantime, and... He hasn't built any RPs because the Zion Veer's been out. Actually, never mind, Proxy Annex! I can't believe I missed that. Shin Veer building a Proxy Annex, building a bunch of Zion Veers right next to Nail's base. And Nail, at this point in time, I mean, at the at the one minute mark, he has an Octobot coming up. By the five minute mark, I don't see how he'll have a hard time defending against this. So he has Octos going into attack. Both players are going to be dealing some damage to each other, but I think that Nail will come out on top from the looks of it. I mean, Rockmox has nothing in his base at the moment, and Nail is... Nail sending his Octos in, ready to teleport. Rockmox's proxy annex is not going to be that useful. The amount of Zion Veers that will be up there, even with the amount that's going to be up there, it's not going to be enough by the time... Like, the Octobot here is just coming along and will probably find it, and if it doesn't... Well, we see the Sepian Faro is also moving to teleport in, so it looks like both... Both teleporters will be used by Nail, or at least will be claimed by Nail. Hard to tell what he's exactly planning on doing with that, though. It might be... Like I said, it's probably a teleport, but he hasn't actually moved into the teleport range. He's merely moved near the teleporters. He probably is just synchronizing the two, just waiting for these guys to get in, and then we'll be teleporting everything in all at once when they're all next to base. From Rockmox's point of view, Rockmox is actually jumping back to where Nail is, and doesn't see anything yet because Nail hasn't actually done anything yet. Nail's just paused, setting up his orders, and will probably be, like I said, synchronizing the attacks, though. He has, no, he has a duo set up near one of the teleporters. The Octopod looks to be going to use the teleporter, though. The other Octos, we've jumped back about a minute down now. Nail looks like he's just double-checking, making sure Rockmox hasn't done anything to try to mess him up. Which he has not. That Annex is not coming up for a while yet. The Annex over here, the proxy one that the Shinbeer's built from Rockmox over, but three minutes up from where we are now. And here we go, the, proc the Octos are setting themselves up to be teleported, and will they teleport? No, they're not being teleported yet. And the Zion Veer, no sorry, RP being teleported over to an expansion. There we go, there's the Octos. So the Octos getting teleported in, Octopod not yet teleported in, is still moving in. 
nail attacking it at the unplayable past, but not actually dealing any damage yet. Ah, there we go. Sorry, Rockmaster's point of view. Nail's point of view, he is dealing quite a bit of damage. He's in fact teleporting in the Octopod as well, and utterly destroying Rockmox's RPs. Rockmox trying to do what he can for this. Probably, well, that's why teleporting them away as best he can with the Chrono Energy he has. But even then, the Annex is taking a lot of damage, and that Proxy Annex hasn't been built yet, though it's still coming up. But Rockmox has not lost the resources to build that, but that's still going to be a bit of an issue. So this Annex in the main base, this main base is basically going down. And Rockmox ex escaping with what he can, keeping his RPs out of the way of the Octos, losing his Annex, but at least he keeps resources coming in. And it doesn't look like... Other than that, he's been slowed down very much. So Nail, his main base is also pretty open. So it looks like a base trade is exactly what's going to happen right now. Rockmox losing his annex, but building another one right next to Nail's start position. And Nail, on the other hand, about, a, about five seconds up from here. Trying to get what we can just to tear apart what units Rockmox has, but not finding the annex or the infantry that are building it. Which is kind of unfortunate because it means that he can't actually deal with that, even though I'm sure he'd like to. And his, his Progenerating Duo not actually teleporting, just moving into range of teleportation. It looks like this is when they plan to teleport. Teleporting into Nail's... Sorry, te Nail teleporting into Rockmox's old base to switch in. But I don't see this ending anytime soon. Because at this point, it looks like it's just going to be... Oh no, he's teleporting into the center of the map. Never mind. Where's the Progenerating Duo going? They must be teleporting somewhere handy, though. Probably into, like I said, the only place that seems to make sense is going to be Rockmox's old base, right here. But, no, they actually... Where did they teleport to? Okay, apparently I cannot select them. But, they... Let's see, where was that? Here we are. So we have the Octos and Seppi, and they teleported actually over to the natural expansion. So Nail jumping back to where he started. Interesting move, I was expecting him to just trade off the base with Rockmox, but apparently he's decided to take his old natural, or his old expansion, old natural expansion that was by his starting location, though he's otherwise not invested in that part of the map. Neither player particularly invested in any particular part of the map. I mean, Rockmox trying to run away with the RPs, and Nail doing a pretty good job dealing with them. He's, I think he has one left he has to deal with, so yeah, that's actually a really good job. Sorry, there's two. One of them will be teleporting back into Rockmox's main. And we're trying to do what it can to get away into this southeast expansion with the comm center, but that comm center will give it away when it comes in. And this annex getting the Zion Viewers built up, so more Zion Viewers coming up for Rockmox, and he will be using that to tear apart this base, or at least, well, tear apart the RP here, because not, not much else has been invested into it. Though ripping apart this duo, if Rockmox does that, will be much more effective. Just because most of the production capacity will be lost, the Arcticus is still in the air, they'll have to drop down and then build up from there. And Nail is... Nail doesn't actually see this RP yet. He hasn't gone for it yet. He has converted one of his Octos into an RP in Rockmox's Natural. So Nail really spreading himself out. But at this point, he doesn't need to worry about spreading himself too thin. Rockmox doesn't have too much except what's right outside of Nail's old main. And since Nail isn't invested too much in that, the Natural is the only part that's threatened. And I don't think Rockmox is going to go there. I don't think Rockmox expects there to be anything there. I think he only expects there to be stuff at the main base directly. However, we'll find out very shortly, and the RP has been found, so Rockmox will lose another RP in the process here. He can't really do much against that. that, that RP only has so much energy, and the amount of energy it has is not enough, and it's 25 energy to teleport, and it... But it will be teleporting again. Just getting out of the way, however, that Octopod will still be able to go down in time. I don't think it'll be in the vision range, but Nail knows it should be there. But no, he's actually passed by it, so the... The RP will not be spotted unless Nail is really clever about when he goes to find it. And it looks like he might still be a bit too late. Yes, from Rockmox's point of view, Rockmox is further in the past that Octopod has completely passed by the RP, which is teleporting out of the way and keeping itself alive. Well, Rockmox walks in, destroys the one RP in the main base, and probably gets, and promptly, I'm sure, gets very suspicious about where Nail has actually holed up. So I'm not sure... I, He's probably going to go to the Natural Expansion. At that point, he's going to find where Nail is actually keeping all of his money, keeping all his production. But no, he's going towards the Teleporters, in fact. He's not going towards that expansion at all. And it looks like Nail's probably going to teleport back into the main base and then rebuild from there. Though, honestly, he can teleport anywhere he wants. These Octos are nice in position to teleport anywhere across the map. And I don't see any reason why they wouldn't. 
But the imager are trying to go after the Octopod. The Octopod will be able to take care of about two or three of them, but it'll probably go down with the numbers that are coming in. And here's the part of that base trade. Zynvir coming in to Nail's old main, building up RPs, and Nail back in the unplayable past edge, killing off one RP while Rockmok can't really do much to defend that at all. But his main investment is going to be now in Nail's old main. And other than that, Nail hasn't really done too much. He's just building up, building up his economy, trying to set himself up. Both players completely proving me wrong about what I said at the beginning of the match about how this map doesn't really favor rushes. You can still apparently do some pretty decent proxies, though that was a rather long proxy, but still. Did a good job, nonetheless. And Octopus moving out of the way, so Nail... Nail apparently taking a fair amount of damage from that, although it looks like Nail actually did deal more damage than he took from that assault. But it appears the Octopod is trying to get out of the way. Unless that damage there is the damage onto the Octopod, which does not seem likely. The Octopod has actually successfully run away. It looks like it is just going to be assaulting the RP. So Nail just trying to clean up with Rockmox had, and Rockmox still has a lot of money in the bank. And he still has a couple of RPs running. Nail has more RPs, but he hasn't gotten any real production going yet. He's just finishing up the takeover of Rockmox's base, and Rockmox setting up a Zion Veer into, into Nail's expansion here. The Octo will be able to take care of it, no problem. While the Octopod taking care of the RPs, and Rockmox's forces, Rockmox's infantry just scouting around the map trying to find where Nail is holed up. Both players having a very hard time finding each other, and in case you're wondering, next version will have much larger vision ranges for the units. So it's going to be a bit easier for players to find each other. Like This situation here just happening now where the infantry is right out of range, that won't happen. It's a fairly certain it won't. The Octo, I'm pretty sure, will have enough sight range to see that if it were to happen. But it looks like Rockmox is going to be building up a depot just outside of Nail's base. And he is definitely building up... Well, Nail's old main. Definitely building up RPs in the main... And it looks like the base trade is pretty much complete. One RP left in Rockmox's old main. And Nail, like I said, still is his natural, which is being assaulted now by all of that infantry force that's coming in. Bunch of Zion Veers coming in. We'll be able to just slaughter everything here. Nail might be able to stand these guys up and deal with a few of them, which could work out, but it's going to be very difficult. Nail has enough money to build a couple Octos. But that's about it. And now with... Well, Rockmox trying to build a foundation for healing. A Reef coming up, which will be very helpful. But even with that, I think that there won't be enough time. By the time that Reef is up, the rest of the units will be dead. But Rockmox targeting the Reef, not targeting the rest of the units, so he is losing a couple of units in the process. He is going to be losing one of his Zion Veers, though the Reef has gone down in time. We have the units out here that are leaving, but Rockmox nicely taking out Nail's main base. Same time, Nail is actually not really doing developing too much. Nail has actually lost all but one, one Faro and one Octo. They are going to be teleporting away. They're moving out, probably going to be teleporting over to this base here. As the natural expansion has been completely assaulted and destroyed. So the base trait is pretty much complete. Rockmox is slightly ahead with one RP here that has not been taken care of. And Nail losing his natural expansion to this infantry attack. It's just crawling around the map and taking out everything it can find. So that's pretty nicely done, I gotta say. That's... I guess now it's just a matter of finishing off the other player, because neither player really has the forces to completely eradicate the other. And an Octo here nails old main, and Octo looks like he's ready to build up an RP. As Rockmox starts to invest in that base, and Rockmox otherwise not investing in any other RPs. In fact, he has only one RP here, which is being assaulted by the Octopod as I speak, and his RP in the main base, which is really his only reliable source of income at this point. And of course now there's one in Nails Old Main, which looks like it's actually too far away to harvest. No, it's good. It is close enough to harvest. So, basically, yeah, base trade done. Now, from here, both players are pretty weak off, but Nail has a lot more money. I'm guessing he's, once he actually secures a position for his Seppi and, oh, sorry, his Octo and Faro, he's getting a Seppi, he will be getting a Tried, and this Reef will probably be getting advanced structures. So I expect to see a few Faropods flying around the map trying to deal with all of Rockmox's infantry. And Rockmox still hasn't actually built a depot from this foundation. Only using it as a foundation, which is not a bad idea. He doesn't have the money to actually support vehicles at this point. He still needs to get his RPs back up, because he took a lot of damage when he was assaulted originally. 
And he's managed to save most of his RPs, get him out of the way, but they haven't been harvesting for most of the game. Which is a big problem, because if they aren't harvesting, that means that they aren't going to be able... Well, obviously to get him any money, which means he can't build more RPs. Which means Nail is slowly getting ahead when it comes to the economy. And it's just that Nail doesn't have a lot of production at this point. But Grekum being Grekum, I mean, Vecure and Grekum both have parallel production capacity. But Vecure only gets it with depots. Which means that at this point, Nail can very easily spend all of his money. While Vec well, with Rock Mox, he needs more money just to begin with. But now he's coming in. There we go. So Nail's main base is being assaulted. Rock Mox jumping back to the Impillable Pass, double checking that an Octopod has, in fact, well, almost gotten rid of his RP, but he did manage to teleport it away. So Nail trying to get rid of that last RP. Rock Mox doing a really good job keeping it out of the way, keeping it from dying. And another RP building up. So Rock Mox slowly getting his economy back on his feet. Well, Nail is going to be taking a bit of damage about a minute and a half from now. But for the moment is... Well, he's building up what he can. Producing what he can, but he doesn't have a lot of current energy with which to do it. There's the advanced structures I was looking for, so I'm guessing we will be seeing a Faro. Either this Faro will be standing up to become a Spire, or another Faro will be built to become a Spire. And... Well, Seppi's being built. Not entirely sure why. Probably a second Reef, just for healing purposes. And an Octo being teleported in for support against this attack force not will not be enough. That won't be enough. They'll need to have a bit more than that. The Octopod coming in as well should help, though, if he does bring it in. If he teleports that into the base. Because if he teleports this in, it means that, well, Nail will be giving away slightly where he's coming from. But not really where he's coming from. He's going like, to give it away when he's near the teleporters, but then he teleports in and Rockmox won't really notice. Unless Rockmox is paying very close attention to where the units are coming from in the teleporter. And even then, even then, it's going to be rather difficult to determine where Nail has been holed up this time. So Rockmox right now has better base, better units set up, whereas Nail has much stronger economy and better tech. But Nail has not actually taken advantage of the tech. He's not built a Spire yet. He needs to build a Spire because otherwise he's not going to be able to actually get air units. And with air units, he'll be able to take care of a lot of these Zion Beers. And losing his Articus as well. Very close to the playable pass. Nail doesn't have much he can do about this. I mean, he can... He has obviously production to deal with this, but it's just... It's still a bit of a blow to lose the Articus because he did have hierarchies set for the Articus. He was making use of it, which means he's going to need to either want to rebuild it or want to save it. And still has a bit of time if he moves his Octopod in, but it looks like he's not focused on that too much. He's in fact... Instead, going assaulting his old main where Rockmox is set up with the Octo, trying to take care of the RPs that are there, trying to just keep the economy down for Rockmox. While Rockmox, of course, doing the same to him, though Nail actually now is a disadvantage. His RPs, all but one of his RPs are dead, and all of his RPs are visible. So Nail pretty much only has the money he has right now to work with for the rest of the game. Unless he gets another RP up. Sorry, he has another RP up. So he has one RP that's su supplying him with LC, and that's about it. While Rockmox teleporting his stuff away, trying to keep it alive, but not enough. So Nail will have that one RP. That's all he has with the Spire. He might be able to, he'll be able to afford a Sepi Pod from here, but nothing else. He will not be able to afford a Faro Pod, just a Sepi Pod. And a Zion Pulsar coming in. So finally, Rockmox getting vehicles. And Zion Pulsar will lose the Octopod. As I mentioned before, Zion Pulsars lose one on one with Octopods. But still dealing a fair amount of damage to it, because that Octopod has been Nail's main asset. He does have a second one, which is... Where's the second Octopod? He had built a second Octopod, and... That one down here is not it. That was the one that was around here assaulting the RPs at the Comp Center expansion. The second Octopod I do not see. I I know there was one. I don't know where it went. Oh, never mind. There's actually two RPs for Nail. But still, Rockmox having an economic advantage, though losing it once again. Losing more of his RPs. So, losing two RPs. He has one RP left... He has, no, he has three RPs left. Never mind, he built a couple more resource processors when he was inside of his old main. And Nail is... Oh, there's a second Octopod right here. Okay, so both Octopods are accounted for. And where... Is there going to be another Zion Pulsar coming in? No, there is not. Rockbox has not built another Zion Pulsar yet. But he has a ton of infantry coming in. Taking care of one of the RPs that Nails has. Nail can build another... And there's that Sepipod I mentioned. Looks like... Namatels is being built, though. Nail can build another Octo to build an RP. That's really all he has going for him at this point. He has his one RP here. He keeps rebuilding. He will be able to stay up. And another RP being built up as well. So, Nail trying to rebuild his economy. He's still ahead in economy. He has been this entire game. 
But Rock Mox now evening out, I think. He has... I think our piece is Rock Mox. He's one off in the corner, not really doing too much, but he doesn't have to rebuild it. That's ADLC he's saving. And he has two actually doing work. And that's it. Losing Foundation in the natural is going to be a bit of a blow for Rock Mox, though... Really, this proxy is the big one, and Nail has not dealt with it yet. I'm a bit surprised he has not actually gone for it. Especially since now, Skip Teleport Zion Pulsar coming in. Will be able to take care of... Well, it is actually taking care of itself, as well as his RP. We'll need to be a bit more careful where it positions itself. But... On top of that, the infantry are walking in. I'm a bit surprised that Rockmox hasn't used the teleport as much, to be honest. He's just been going along this corridor, along the middle. But otherwise not using the teleporters, I... A bit surprised about that one. And Nail, of course, has been using the teleporters a great deal. He's about to use them again, too. Moving this Sepi Faro duo into another part of the map, probably over this natural expansion here. He might be moving into the main, but I would guess the natural expansion just because neither player has really dealt with it too much. And... See, so yeah, that Sepi's being built. Jumping back about a minute or so. Jumping back another minute or so, we see that the that Rockmox has managed to destroy Nail's RP there, and he is he is smartly scouting out the second RP that has been built. Make sure he's not getting... not losing that, not letting Nail get away with that one as well. So Nail actually running out of RPs at this point in the past, about a minute later... Wow, it's been 20 minutes. This is quite an intense game. I didn't realize it's been so long. This, is, this has been a great game to watch. And... Nail losing all but one RP once again, and it looks like Rockmox might just be able to get him out. And there's the Sepi Faro duo teleporting towards the center of the map. Looks like he's going to be throwing more RPs right next to this comm center, which is probably not a good idea, being as the Zion Pulsar can just teleport over and deal with it. And the infantry, are they walking towards the... I don't know if they're walking towards the base. I think they're walking towards the teleporter. They're walking... Almost towards the try. They might be able to see it intercepted. I don't know if their vision range is long enough. It looks like it will just barely be long enough. Oh, if that Zion Beer had not changed course. But no. Unfortunately, Rockmox not quite getting to it. He really needs to get that. He needs to find it. He needs to destroy it because that's his only way out of this. Whereas Nail, his Sepipod is here. It looks like it managed to defend against that Zion Pulsar. And no, the Zion Beer has found it. So Rockmox is fully aware, or they should be fully aware, of where. Nail is, and yes, he is. He has figured out where Nail is. So Nail has been given away. Rockmox, however, has not had his base attacked yet. I mean, Nail might know about it, but he certainly hasn't acted upon that knowledge if he has it. And Nail does, of course, have a backup duo. But that's about it. It looks like no, the Sepi is going over to Rockmox's old main or around Rockmox's old main. So I think he's not suspicious about this proxy base. I'm not sure if he's aware it exists. I'd be surprised if he isn't, but. He doesn't seem to be acting upon it. The infantry are moving away, and another Zion Pulsar is going to its death. These Octopods will destroy it before it even has a chance to get too many shots off. So I don't understand why he's doing this, but he is definitely doing this, and that's... Well, that's not going to last long, as we just saw. This Zion Beer isn't even going to get a shot off before it dies. That was painful, I'm sure, for Rockmox. Hopefully he moves that RP... Or, yes, he's moving the Zion Pulsar... I meant ZP. Moving the Zion Pulsar back, making sure it doesn't get killed. And his infantry force, it looks like his entire infantry force has been destroyed. Octopods are very powerful against infantry. I've mentioned this before. Great defensive unit. And it looks like that is it. Rockmox has actually lost all but one of his Zion Veers and his Tethman Shin Veer as well. And doesn't appear to be keen on rebuilding them. Getting more Zion Pulsars. With three or four Zion Pulsars, he will be able to take care of the Octopods, no problem. But with only one, it's a suicide mission. I said one on one, even two would be a suicide mission. At these numbers, it doesn't start to scale. The splash damage doesn't actually start to become meaningful. I know it looks like one of the Zion Pulsars is, in fact, going back to deal with this RP over here, rather than going forward to attack. And Sepipod, as well, is going to be a bit of a threat. That's going to be very difficult for Rockmox to deal with. So Nail, currently holding the economic advantage, and has been for the last minute or so. And not really building from it. He only has an LC advantage, not a QP advantage. He needs to use that to build more RPs. Not sure where, though. I mean, his natural expansion is one candidate, or he could destroy the comm center and at least leave Rockmox in the dark about how many RPs there are, even though it's obvious that there are RPs there. And Zion Pulse are doing what he can, taking care of both RPs. They, the Sepipod will not be able to deal with it before they are both dead, even if Nail jumps back, which he's likely to. This resource processor had too little HP before it got attacked, and the other two Zion Pulsers moving in. 
but they will not be moving in in, in time. The Octopods will be able to deal with- No, the Octopods are moving away! This is perfect timing! Rockmox needs to go for this. This is the exact timing he needs to go for. The Octopods have moved out of the way. Nail, back to the Impalable Past Edge. He is moving them away, so he cannot get them out. He's probably going to teleport them where they need to be, but they're still going to be out of position to defend the base. And with only one Reef, that's not going to heal fast enough for Nail to come back and save it. So I think Rockmox might just be able to, if he does this right, he does have his RPs being built. Nail does, I should say. So he's definitely taking advantage, without caring about information, he's taking advantage of that position. So Rockmox is really on the back foot. This, this assault is the only chance he has. If he manages to pull it off, getting rid of all this tech and everything, then Nail is going to be set back a fair bit. He just needs to teleport all the units in here, destroy this duo, and take care of the Octopods, which will require a bit of cleverness, but it looks like this is going to be... This is going to be it. I think this is the last assault. So Rockmox just needs to take care of this main here, or this, well, new main, and make sure that the Octopods don't deal with him, or don't... Because the Octopods still are in position to teleport. Nail has not actually teleported them by this point. And yes, they have teleported back into the base. They are getting destroyed, though one of the Zion Bolters is going to go down very soon. But the Octopod not in position to deal with it. Moving down, getting rid of one of the Zion Bolters, but the other two Zion Bolters able to take care of the rest of the base. Taking care of the forces in progeneration mode. And this Octopod, not enough energy to go down and deal with the Zion Bolters. And if it did, they would just slaughter. And the third Zion Bolter coming up. Rockmox is just barely having enough. And Nail surrenders. Wow, that was... A very, very particular game in the sense that it was very particular to the way Kratoria works due to its size and just openness of the expansions. It's really hard to check one ex entire expansion at once. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens with Kratoria in the next version with the vision range increases. I'll be very curious to see what happens there. But this is what exists for now and it provided a very enter entertaining game. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will be back shortly just going to be just let me stop the stream for a bit and then i'll be back afterwards so stay tuned we'll be back shortly <laughs>